Hi guys, it's me again. By this time, you've collected all of your evidence, you've watched some videos, you've read a lot of articles, and now you're ready to determine what your claim is going to be and how you're going to come up with your reasons to write your thesis statement. So as you can see, there's some new annotations on my organizer. So the first thing you have to do when coming up with a claim is look at all of your evidence and kind of generalize or come up with the reasons that each of your pieces of evidence support. So if you look over here, you can see that on my very first reason, I wrote the word sportsmanship next to my first piece of evidence. The reason that I wrote that was because the evidence says the website education.com claims that being part of a team helps a child to think about doing what is best for the group as opposed to focusing only on himself. Well, to me, that says sportsmanship. So one of the reasons that youth should participate in sports, which remember back from the first video, that was my argument or my question. So that tells me that one of the reasons that you should participate is because of sportsmanship. So I annotated my organizer by writing the reason sportsmanship. So then I went to my next piece of evidence and I read it. Kidstech.com, or sorry, kidshealth.com explains that when People exercise or play sports. The brain releases chemicals that improve their mood. Well, to me, that says a reason for kids to play and use sports is because it decreases stress. So I wrote the word decreases stress. Then I looked at my cons. The American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychology cautions that the highly competitive world of college sports carried over into the youth sports arena. Oh my gosh. Well, that causes stress. So I wrote my reason, causes stress. And then the last con for that particular article said, children don't handle weather as well as adults and they produce more heat. They often dress like and cause and could be vulnerable to dehydration because they drink less, obviously. And so I wrote, can get sick. So that's one of the reasons for kids not to play or use sports. Okay. Then I read my evidence for my second article. The Women's Sports Foundation recommends that teen girls participate in sports to help prevent osteoporosis later in life. Well, that reason for kids to play in sports or youth to play in sports is it's good for their bones. So you can see, I annotated my text there, that it's good for their bones. Then the next one said, weight loss can help reduce high blood so sports to burn calories help address this problem. Oh wow, it lowers your blood pressure. So they can lose weight and lower their blood pressure and the second one was also about muscular work. And it says the more children participate in sports, the more they improve cardiovascular stamina and muscle, muscle endurance or more activity to work over a period of time. Well, you can see that I actually wrote lower blood pressure here, but what I really should have written was builds muscle. Okay. M-U-S-C-L-E. Sorry. All right. And then if you look at my last one, it was just about making you flexible. All right. So now I have all of my evidence. Now, obviously, you have a lot more because you read at least three articles and collected a lot of evidence. But now I'm going to look at all of my pros and all of my cons. Well, I have a lot more pros than cons. So probably to write a good argument, my argument is going to be, yes, I agree that you should play sports. And I'm kind of looking at my reasons and I see, well, sportsmanship, well, that's probably not a good reason why you should play sports or I can't give, I can't give like a general reason. I'm trying to come up with one reason that would cover as many pieces of evidence as it can. So I've got decreases stress, good for your bones, loses weight, builds muscle. Well, you know what? I'm thinking you should play good, play sports because it's good for their health. So my claim is going to be youth should play sports. And my reason is going to be because it's good for their health. So when you go to the next slide and look at my example, you're going to see how I then use this information to create my thesis statement. You can watch this again if you have any questions.